Hey folks, this is Riker with a new Overwatch video on the event that just went live today, Overwatch Uprising. In this video, we're going to go over all the cosmetics that are available during this three-week event. We'll show off all the skins, emotes, voice lines, whatever it is that you can acquire. And we're going to remind you guys, if you want to buy loot boxes, wait until the very end of the event. You might get the loot that you want throughout the event, so better to wait until... Maybe not the last day, because sometimes the event ends earlier than you anticipate, but the second to last day is a good time to then spend money on loot boxes if you really desperately want something and you haven't gotten it yet. In this video, we're also going to go over the trailers that were officially released. Yesterday, we posted a video that was a dubbing of the French trailer, so we're going to compare that to the official English trailer to see how accurate my translations were. And stay tuned for another video in which we're going to go over the details of this super cool pve event itself so diving into the cosmetics we're going to take a look at anna first and we're just going to save the voice lines for last but we'll go through every other character one by one starting with anna she's got some new sprays here newborn b73 ns i'm gonna guess that's not an anna specific spray same with eradicator null sector that's the null sector logo and it seems that all event cosmetics are denoted with this null sector logo null mari Nell Trooper, OR14NS. I suspect this will be the boss that you fight at the end of this event, and hopefully as well, an Orisa spray. So OR14-NS, and as for Null Sector, OR14 being an earlier model than the OR15, and Orisa being an OR15A, augmented or advanced, if you will. And Slicers. So these are probably all the enemies that we're going to be facing in this event, just their cutesy versions. So Ana doesn't get anything else except for uh, voice lines, which again we'll do at the end. So next, Bastion. Bastion gets this Null Sector skin. Bastion's specific spray is that comic with the Kraken. That's got to become a skin. For Diva, we've got Handheld as a spray. And Diva's got a new highlight intro, folks. Let's check it out. <laughs> All right, that's 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 nice in an ironic way. Then, of course, the Genji skin that everyone wants. It is a mixture of Jago from Killer Instinct and Metal Gear Solid. This is going to be the Genji skin that everyone uses for the next like two months. He's got a new victory pose, meditating. Somehow that just looks terrifying with the Oni skin. His spray is eating ramen, young Genji. Sparrow, if you will. Hanzo, of course, gets no skins. But Jeff Kaplan confirmed that there are three legendary skins in the works for Hanzo. He does at least get an emote. Let's see it. Well, that's pretty cool. And his spray is also him eating ramen. That's, that's cute. Junkrat gets the sidecar spray. My guess is that that's going to combine with Roadhog spray. New victory pose for Lucio. Oh, nice! I don't like Lucio's victory poses. I finally found one that I'm going to use now. Lucio's spray skates. As you know, he plays hockey based on his hockey skin. So it looks like he's uh, just all around a good guy, helping out some kids, maybe being a coach. Unofficial coach. And McCree Black Watch skin. Let's see it. Oh, look, his gun changes as well. Okay, we got we to gotta see the difference between classic. The belt changes from BAMF to that sick logo, I don't know what to call it. I'm enjoying this a lot more than I thought I would, actually. He's got that Hugh Jackman thing going on. I quite like it. The gun is really cool. Yeah, you know what? This is gonna be my new McCree skin. I had my doubts, but sold. And he gets a new victory pose, showdown. Yeah, that's all right. His spray, target practice, very nice. May's spray, the summer games on her shirt. Um, May's Bay, guys. I absolutely hate her in-game, but, uh, this spray is definitely gonna add uh, fuel to the Maya's Bay fire. Now, Mercy gets Combat Medic Ziegler. Look at that. Mercy has so many great skins. Look at that hair. Her spray, Combat Medic. Now, let's see if Orissa did end up getting that skin that we thought she would. Yes, Null Sector skin. Look at that, guys. I know a lot of people wanted some new Orissa skins. I know she's pretty early character but look at that she even has a model that looks very reminiscent sort of like of bastion's parts this is this is interesting her spray is flower 
don't know if that's intended to be a reflection of that like hippie picture of giving the flower to the police officer. It's not quite the same parallel, but it's meant to show her delicate side. Farah gets a new emote. Let's check it out. What? Let's see that again. Okay, she's popping out a flare, and then what is she doing? She's opening her things. There's some weird stretching, I think, with this skin. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen here. Let's change her skin so that we don't see that weird stretching of the ice crystals. They didn't QA that well enough here. Let's put it to her classic skin. And take a look again. Okay, it's gonna pop open. Okay, now it makes more sense. Yeah, that didn't go well with her skin. Very weird. Reaper's Commando Spray. I'll make a nice skin. And Reaper gets nothing else. Maybe some voice lines. We'll see. That's a bit disappointing. So Reinhardt, of course, is going to get his Lieutenant Wilhelm. Look at that. The hair really makes him look younger. Compare that to Stonehard. Yeah, he just looks a little older there. It's impressive how they got him to look just slightly younger. He still has that white hair. He still looks old, but a little younger. Seven years, precisely seven years younger he looks. I'm glad they didn't make this a legendary because it is basically just a recolor. Still very cool. And the poster. Yes. I believe this translates to the Crusaders are watching. Something like that. And the glorious hair. Roadhog gets the chopper spray. Yes, as expected. So you're going to want to lay down as Roadhog your spray. And then Junkrat lays down his spray right next to it for uh, the nice uh, combined effect. Soldier gets an emote push-up. This ought to be good. Let's see what you got, old man. Wow. Damn. I like the grunt as well. It's a little grunt thrown in there. Added realism. Commando Morrison. I like it. Sombra gets the espresso machine. We talked about this. Uh, it's funny that it looks very reminiscent of Bastion. Now I remember why. Okay, so the backstory behind the espresso machine. In the Sombra ARG, the uh, augmented, no, sorry, alternate reality game. I used to think it was augmented reality. It, you look it up, it's actually alternate reality game. You know, it was a super long teaser that lasted months until Sombra's release. At some point, we hacked into some, or she hacked into some Lumerico website, and she got access to their emails. And in these email exchanges, they kept talking about the espresso machine. And the community was thinking that there had to be some meaning to this. There had to be some significance. And there was one, like, really crazy conspiracy theory that the espresso machine was... Uh, 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 symbolic of Bastion that like a, a bunch of different things in the emails was all like representative of different characters and stuff and that the espresso machine was Bastion because they're like the espresso machine isn't working properly and like oh you know there's something wrong with Bastion uh, because as part of the ARG at some point Bastion was doing Morse code stuff so it's the espresso machine amounted to nothing but Blizzard is basically making fun of us here and that's that's great Sombra gets nothing else, and she deserves nothing else. Symmetra gets a victory pose, light reading. Ha ha ha, yes. Oh, she's so condescending, it's beautiful. Student Symmetra, very nice. Torbjorn, I think, gets two skins. Yeah, look at that. Chief Engineer Lindholm. Lindholm. Lindholm? I'm sorry, sweets. And Ironclad. So, oh man, he's got no beard at all there. He's just got the mutton chops. <gasps> mutton chop Torbjorn right here. Compared to classic, so much beard, no beard. Look at that, guys. He's got so many legendary skins at this point. That's, that's pretty cool. And his spray is the Brigitte spray. His traveling companion. No, wait a minute. That's Reinhardt's traveling companion. Oh, but she must have studied with Torbjorn, or they must at least get along. So Brigitte travels with Reinhardt, and she maintains his armor, which is what Torbjorn used to do. Torbjorn's got a highlight intro, my baby. Aww. <laughs> Let's see that again. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Alright, Tracer gets a skin every single event, because she is the poster child of this game. When it really should be Mercy. Cadet Oxen. I like the skin. It's 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 nice. I was expecting we were actually going to get a variant that wasn't this color. I thought we were going to get two skins, but uh, yeah, that's, that's alright. She's, she's got enough skins. She got enough skins. 
Slipstream. So that's the ship. That's the Slipstream. So in Tracer's backstory, she is test piloting a new ship with teleportation, experimental teleportation technology. It malfunctions and she becomes desynchronized with the flow of time, which is why now uh, she has to wear this thing on her chest, which keeps her anchored in time and, and allows her some control over her time travel powers. All right, let's see that Widowmaker skin that everyone is hyped about. Personally, this is my favorite Widowmaker skin. Some people hate this skin. I re I find this really nice, but let's let's see her new one. Talon. Oh, Griff in French. Talon. Right. I was thinking Claw. So this was when she joined Talon, but before she became purpled. So the reason her skin is this color is basically they slowed her heart rate or something. So this would be before that effect has actually taken place. And, uh, very cool, uh, a Widowmaker skin was long overdue. And the wedding photo of Amélie Lacroix, aka Widowmaker, and her husband Gérard Lacroix, whom she murdered, because she was brainwashed by Talon. Winston gets a peanut butter victory pose. <laughs> Perfect. Building is his spray, he's reenacting King Kong, that's, that's sweet. Zarya, of course, doesn't get a skin, because Zarya's not allowed to have any nice skins. Oh, she does get a victory pose. This is strength. And her spray is We Can. She looks like a, uh, <laughs> a pinup girl. From those propaganda posters from, what, the 50s or what have you. 40s? I guess 50s doesn't make sense. Lastly, Zenyatta. Let's see what he has. No skins, I believe. Nope. Zenyatta's spray is Shell. I see. They're putting him together. So, Ghost in the Shell. He's just a shell for now. His spirit hasn't put it, been put in yet. Side note, folks, Ghost in the Shell, if you've seen that movie, I hate the way they so rub in your face what Ghost in the Shell means. Like, before the movie, it was kind of ambiguous and open for interpretation, and you can sort of be clever enough to intuit, oh, Ghost, Spirit in the Shell, the body. But, like, in the first, like, five minutes of the movie, they just rub it in your face over and over. But I digress. So now we'll take a look at the new voice lines. Anna's got two. <sighs> Miss Munkin. Mishmokin. <laughs> that means damn, apparently. The ghost watches. Oh, I like that one. Bastion's got two. Dwee wee wo. <laughs> and uh, Zuya wee do woo. <laughs> Diva also has two. I get the feeling you're not taking me seriously. And? Try and keep up. Kai them up. Kai them up. Kite them up. I don't, I don't, means another. Life and death balance on the edge of my blade. Oh. Nice. I like that. There is beauty in simplicity. Alright. Unacceptable. Don't you come the raw prawn with me. What? Don't you come the raw prawn with me. Don't you come the raw prawn with me. Alright, I just looked this up. This is apparently an Australian expression, meaning... Uh, don't treat me like a fool. Too right. Boop. Yes, Lucio gets a boop. You need to learn to take it easy. Boop. Boop. A man's gotta have rules. I like it. Guess we'll do this the old-fashioned way. Nice. I'm going to have to science the heck out of this. <laughs> I'm sure there's a reasonable scientific explanation for this. Hmm. She better have a German line. Sometimes I'm not sure why I even bother. That's how I've I've been so I've been a Lucio main for a long time. I'm starting to become a Mercy main now and uh, I understand the feeling. You really should take better care of yourself. Era. Division by zero. It would have been funny if toward the end of that sentence she just would have like brruh, 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 like trying to divide by zero and it just messes with her programming. Some functionality may still be in beta. Don't take it personally. I am the Rocket Queen. <laughs> I like it reminds me of the quote, I am the Lizard King. That's, that's nice. Okay, Reaper better get some good voice lines for this. Looks like it's amateur hour. Eh. Moving on. Eh. Oh what? Come on. Reinhardt gets two. Seems everyone gets two. Easy does it! Nah. Unstoppable! I like that one. I've killed someone for less than that. She'll be right. 
She'll be right? What? I, she'll be right. She'll be right. What is... She'll be right is a frequently used idiom in Australian and New Zealand culture that expresses the belief that whatever is wrong will right itself with time, which is considered to be either an optimistic or apathetic outlook. In this usage, she refers to everything. So I believe that Junkrat's from Australia and Roadhog is from New Zealand. Roadhog's Maori skins kind of confirm he's from New Zealand. I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> so many of Soldier's lines are just about him being old. Feeling old and getting old. Not being a young man anymore. Whatever you say. No le saques. No le saques. I'd love to stay and chat, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I, I, I like that. Kindly adjust. Kindly adjust. What? Like move? I've taken your opinion under advisement. That's a nice reply to Mercy's doctor's orders. Just start hammering. Hmm. <laughs> or craftsmen blames their tools. <laughs> oh, that is a perfect reply whenever someone's like trolling in chat, just hating on your team. Although it does imply that you're a tool. Don't be daft! <laughs> Sorry I'm late! The performance is about to begin. Your emotions make you vulnerable. Have you, uh, seen my glasses? Winston's got such a well-defined personality. He's, he's like so... <laughs> It's that little, like, insecure part of him, like, uh, uh, so someone say, uh, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's endearing. I have the right stuff. I was born in battle. Ready to give up. And lastly, Zenyatta. Walk along the path to enlightenment. If you do not change direction, you may end up where you're headed. Hmm, that's deep. Deep thoughts with the Zenyatta. So that wraps up everything that... You can possibly get in this event all the new cosmetics that you can get from loot boxes. All right, folks, now we're going to compare the official English trailer to my dubbing of the French trailer and see how accurate we were. Morrison here. London has been attacked. King's Row has fallen. This is Morrison. London has been attacked. King's Row has fallen. Ah, uh, almost word for word. We're on the brink of open war. We're on the brink of open war. Nailed it. Hundreds are dead. Thousands are injured. Hundreds are dead and thousands injured. I didn't expect that accent. But again, we're almost word for word. It's all up to you, Overwatch. Team, it's up to you. Alright, this version's better. My translation was a bit awkward there. Lieutenant Wilhelm on duty. We will not let you down, Commander. Lieutenant Wilhelm reporting. We will not let you down, Commander. I was close. I I felt like it might have been reporting and not on duty. We'll save as many lives as possible. We will save who we can. Mm, no, that's not a translation error. The French was very clearly, we'll save as many lives as possible. I feel like English Mercy just doesn't care as much as French Mercy. French Mercy's all like, we'll save as many lives as possible. English Mercy's like, eh, we'll save who we can, you know. We're not gonna really try very hard. Black Watch agents reporting significant defenses. Null sector controls the whole zone. Black Watch assets report heavy fortifications in the area. They have complete tactical control. Well, I'm just blown away by hearing non-Reaper Reaper. I mean, I knew he didn't always sound like that, but even when he's wearing his Blackwatch skin, he still has that evil voice, so I thought they were just gonna go the lazy route and always give him that voice. Leave this to an expert. I've got a little surprise for them. You leave that to me. I've got something special planned. This again comes down to the French words being written differently. The French version very clearly says, leave this to an expert. I've got a little surprise for them. Intervention team, we're counting on you. And watch over the new recruit. Strike team, we're counting on you. And keep the rookie safe. Strike team makes so much more sense than intervention team. And keep the rookie safe flows a lot better in English. You can count on me, chief. You can count on me, sir. <laughs> okay. I actually preferred her saying chief. It seems more, um, 
I don't know, in, in her playful personality, but I guess she's still a new recruit, so she's toning it down a bit. Going by the proper sir, and not the more informal chief. Watch your back! Watch your back! I am moving the payload! Forward. Let's go! Moving the payload! Push forward! You got it! Close enough. Then of course the other surprise is that, well it's not really a surprise, it's Uprising in English, Insurrection in French. I think that's more of a reflection that there's no good word for Uprising in French. Now to finish up here, let's briefly go over the King's Row Uprising origin story video that launched alongside the trailer. This is more of a lore trailer, and it helps fill in some gaps. Uh, we already mostly know the story, but there was a couple questions left unanswered. So now we find out what the Turing Green was. We were right, it was Turing Green, SW0, building a new Omnic future. This wasn't a place that actually got constructed, that was just sort of a... Uh, you know, before they develop an area, they first show a sort of mock-up of what it will be like. And so work started, they were breaking ground. And this new area, this, this home, this haven for Omnics was meant to be the first step in improving human-Omnic relations in England. But that never ended up getting constructed because the terrorist group Null Sector, these bad Omnics, ended up launching an attack on King's Row. So Overwatch is sent in to deal with the situation. This has been 20 years since the Omnic Crisis, and they'd want to stop the start of a new Omnic Crisis. And that wraps up this video. As a reminder, stay tuned for my next video where we're going to go over the actual event, how it plays, the breakdown on that. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to my Twitch and Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. If you enjoyed this video, please share it. Check out these other videos and subscribe to join Rikers Raiders for more Overwatch content.